Good morning, friends. How is everyone doing today? I don't know about you, but Miss Jenny has snow outside her window. It kind of makes me feel a little eh today. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling happy because you're at home? Are you feeling kind of, uh, it's another day at home, I'd really like to go somewhere? It's okay to have all those feelings. There's a lot of different feelings that everybody is feeling right now. And everybody is having a hard time. And it's okay for you to have a hard time too. Just make sure you talk with an adult about it, okay? If you're not feeling very happy, just let them know, I'm just not really happy today. And I bet the adult can help you work your way through that, okay? So please make sure you talk with adults about your feelings. Help, Let them help you work your way through it. And figure out what's going on and help you to feel better, okay? So talking with an adult is always, always, always a good thing. But Miss Jenny is deciding that no matter what, even if it is snowing, I'm gonna be happy today because I have another day that I get to read stories to you and that's always a fun day. So that is how Miss Jenny is feeling today. So if you wanna share how you're feeling, I would love to hear. And we are gonna do some more Easter stories today. Uh, Miss Jenny has two more books we're going to read today. One is called The Night Before Easter. And the other one is called Clifford's Happy Easter. We read a Clifford book on Tuesday. And we're going to read another one today. This time he's big. On Tuesday he was just a little puppy. Now Miss Jenny's going to look silly because I got the sun. The sun is out. Yay. We'll take the sunshine. We are also gonna do a very simple, easy craft today. We're gonna do some drawing. So you're gonna want some paper, you're gonna want a pencil, and you're gonna want something to color with, whether it's markers or crayons or colored pencils or paint. Whatever it is that you have will work just fine. So if you wanna go ahead and get some of those supplies ready to go, we will start reading shortly here. I just wanna give us all a little bit of a chance to get on and start drawing. Say hi. Once you're on, so I know you're here to join us. Miss Jenny's gonna look silly with her sunlight, but that's okay. I'll take the sunlight. I love the sun. The sun just makes everything better, doesn't it? Yep. While we're waiting, while you're getting your supplies for making craft after stories, I wanna talk about our joy hunt. Miss Jackie posted on Monday that we're doing a joy hunt. Have you guys been putting things out that causes joy? What are some things we can think of? I'd love to see some comments that you have for it. Um, hearts, smiley faces, hmm, silly things. Silly things could definitely bring some joy. So you can put these things in your windows. You can decorate your mailbox. You can decorate your yard. If you've got some fun yard ornaments you can put up. If you want to get your Christmas lights out and decorate your house with Christmas lights, I think that would bring people joy at nighttime, right? So there are lots of different things you can do to bring joy to people, and that is what we are really encouraging. And it does, it's not just this week, guys. So it's if you don't get it done this week, but you're wanting to do it next week, definitely do it. There is no end date on when this Washburn County Joy Hunt ends. We just thought it would be a really fun, exciting way to help people spread joy and then also to get families out of the house we want you to get in a vehicle with your parents or any adult for that matter we want you to get in a vehicle with an adult and go looking for joy go see if you can find decorated windows or decorated yards or mailboxes or anything else there's some businesses in town that are decorating so go find those and take pictures of them and then you can either send them to us or you can have your adults post it on their facebook page and then just hashtag Washburn CO Joy Hunt, okay? I will show you, I'm gonna turn this around quick, I'm gonna show you, great at our windows. Here's our joy that we're sharing with the people that drive by our house. There's our fun hearts. And you know what? They bring Miss Jenny a lot of joy too. So even if it doesn't bring anybody joy that drives by our house, it makes me feel happy every day to have these bright and smiling hearts looking at me. So. That could be something that just brings joy to the people in your family too. You could decorate somewhere in your house even. If you're out in the middle, if you live in the country and nobody's gonna see it, 
Decorate somewhere in your house where everybody will see it easily, whether it's on a bedroom door or in your bedroom or in your living room. It doesn't have to be on a window. It doesn't have to be for other people. You can decorate just for you too, okay? So just keep that in mind and just remember to share pictures because we would love to see the joy that you're sharing, okay? So we're going to get started with our stories. So obviously we're talking about Easter this week, right? We did some Easter stories on Tuesday. We're going to do some more today and then Easter is on Sunday. Oh, it's so exciting, right? I always love Easter because it means that spring is here and Miss Jenny really likes summer and spring is one season closer to summer. So I'm really excited, but I think we're going to start with this one today. So we're going to read the night before Easter. Okay, who is this guy? Who do we think this guy is? He's hiding eggs. Riley, who do you think that is? The Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, and look who's peeking over the top here. There's somebody peeking over the chair at the Easter Bunny. Ho, ho, ho. He's been spotted. All right, so the night before Easter, the author is Natasha Wing, and it's illustrated by Kathy Curry. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. But so Natasha wrote it and Kathy drew the pictures. Okay? So we always want to give credit to those people. Did you know you could do that when you grow up? You could be an author, you could write stories, or you could be an illustrator, you can draw pictures for stories. That would be a pretty fun job, wouldn't it? Alright. The night before Easter. He's got a cart full of very special cool things. Let's see what all he has. All right, can we see this? I'll try to read like this. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. So there they are, everybody's sleeping. That's what they should be doing at nighttime, right? Sleeping. Let's see, the sun is reflecting it quite a bit, isn't it? Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. What book does this remind you of? Riley, what book does this remind you of? Um, I forget what it's called, but it has um, Santa in it. Yeah, so it. the night before Christmas, right? So this is the night before Easter, but the book The Night Before Christmas sounds a lot like this one, doesn't it? All right, so there's everything we're sitting and waiting for the Easter Bunny. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. There they are sleeping. See all those things dancing around in their head? They must be having some really good dreams. Think so? Then out in the barn... The hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. That just means his ear is kind of bent. So there's the chickens giving a clatter. And here comes the Easter Bunny. Are one of his ears bent? Look at this ear right here. It's got a crook in it. Pretty cool, huh? He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that, except Easter Bunny. There he is pushing his cart full of goodies. And there's all the animals looking at him. Do you think he brought Easter presents for the animals in the barn too? Maybe. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. He's just having all sorts of fun out there, isn't he? Smelling flowers, jumping over a shovel, jumping over a rake, and jumping over a hose. He's a pretty happy bunny rabbit, don't you think? Then up to our house in just a few hops. He came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. Ooh, chocolate and lollipops. Do you like chocolate and lollipops? Miss Jenny really likes chocolate. 
that is definitely her favorite. Look at the chick is helping him. It's got lots of really cool looking stuff in there. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift, dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. Here he comes. He's coming right through the front door, isn't he? There's a little boy sitting on the stairs watching. And here comes that crazy Easter bunny. Look at the kitty cat is in the Easter basket. Silly kitty cat. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled. His whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. There you go, there's that chick that was riding in his cart. And there's the Easter Bunny. He's a quite happy Easter Bunny, isn't he? I think I would be pretty happy if I was Easter Bunny too, huh? He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure. Filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Oh man. It's a good thing he's such a wonderful Easter Bunny. He gives you a lot, doesn't he? Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. Uh-oh. We're kind of falling all over the place, isn't it? Where's it all going? I think that kitty and chick sure are going to have some fun playing with that, aren't they? Yeah. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs. Looking over each one. There he's looking at the eggs. What do you think he's going to do with those eggs? Hmm. What is the bunny going to do with those eggs? He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. Ooh, he hid them all over the place. I bet he's a really good hider of eggs. Probably the best, huh? Since he's the Easter Bunny. Who knows? When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. There he goes. Well, I think those animals have a lot of fun with Easter Bunny, didn't they? I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all, and to all a great day. There he goes. You see him in the window? There he is. There's the sun coming up behind him. And all the Easter stuff he left behind. Very cool. Does Easter Bunny leave you a note? very nice of him that he left a note. Yeah? All right, our next book is called Clifford's Happy Easter. Hmm, do you guys like Clifford? Look okay, at here's Emily Elizabeth behind his ear. And what's he got on his nose? He's got an egg on his nose, doesn't he? Okay, so Clifford's Happy Easter is written by Norman Bridwell. And I'm gonna assume Norman also does the pictures because there isn't an illustrator written down. So I'm going to assume that Norman wrote the book and drew the pictures. All right. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and I love spring. So does my dog Clifford. Here they are running around. Look at all those puddles. That's definitely the time of year we're in, isn't it? We've got puddles going all over the place, don't we? Miss Jenny's going to get her hair out of the way so it doesn't cover up the book. The best part of springtime is Easter. Last spring, Mom and Dad brought us a lot of eggs to color for the big Easter egg hunt. Have you colored eggs yet for Easter? Are you going to color eggs? 
lots of different ways to color Easter eggs. Everybody does it a little different. On the day before Easter, I dyed the eggs. Clifford wanted to help poor Clifford. He wasn't very good at painting eggs. Look at, they're all breaking in his paws. He's a little too big for the eggs, isn't he? Probably a little too strong. So Clifford helped by watching me decorate the eggs. He's a good watcher. There he is. Do you paint your eggs or do you dye them? How do you paint your, do your eggs? When I went to bed that night, I fell asleep dreaming about Easter eggs. There's Emily Elizabeth in her room. You see Clifford out her window? And they're making eggs in her dream. See these little dots? Dot, dot, dot. And then this big bubble, that means it's her dream. That's what she's dreaming. It was a beautiful dream. Clifford was stirring a giant tub of dye while I tossed in the eggs. Look at how well they work together, huh? Clifford is stirring. Emily Elizabeth's putting the eggs in. I wonder how they get them out. Hmm? But then Clifford lost his balance. He tumbled into the tub of dye. Oh no. Poor Clifford. Something surprising began to happen. Look at him. He's got green spots on him. Really, Clifford, what's he got going on? Oh dear. Suddenly, Clifford was bright green. Oh no, Clifford. Clifford isn't the big red dog, he's the big green dog. It was just like St. Patrick's Day. We just celebrated St. Patrick's Day last month, didn't we? <laughs> Pretty silly. All right. Then he turned sunshine yellow. This was becoming a very strange dream. Now he looks like the sun, doesn't he? Everybody's a little surprised. I grabbed a brush and began to dab on purple polka dots. Clifford looked good in polka dots, but here he is in his polka dots. But what do you think is gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh my goodness. They didn't last long. The purple dots turned into squares and Clifford looked like What's he look like? Look at him changing into squares. He's kind of like a purple and yellow checkered board, doesn't he? A giant checkerboard. I didn't like that. I threw on some more dye. What color dye is she throwing on him? Is it red? Is she trying to get him back to the regular old Clifford? Let's see if it works. Oh. Definitely not red. Clifford started to change colors again. Now what colors do you see? He's a couple different colors, isn't he? His head is blue and he has red and white stripes. What does that maybe look like? Emmett, what does it look like? American flag. American flag. Now he was red, white, and blue. Look at there. You could say your pledge of allegiance to Clifford. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh dear. Look at this Clifford. I always used to wonder if I dreamed in color. Now I know. Clifford's all sorts of colors, isn't he? That is a pretty interesting pattern on him. This was too much. Look at him now. He's just kind of all over the place, isn't he? His colors are all smearing together. He's turning brown. I, oh, I missed a page. There we go. Now we're on the right one. I tried to scrub the dye off Clifford. 
I was getting frantic. Look at, she's trying to get all that dye off of him so he can be regular old Clifford again. We want Clifford back, don't we? Then I woke up. It was Easter morning and the sun was shining. There, she's waking up from her dream. See, look at, her dream is scattering into pieces because she woke up. Look at that hair! Do you wake up with crazy bed hair? Emily Elizabeth does. Oh, and did you see Clifford? Look at that silly Clifford out there sleeping. He looks kind of silly in his doghouse sleeping like that. All right. I ran out to see Clifford. Thank goodness he looked just the same as always. Good old Clifford. He doesn't look all silly colors today, does he? We joined my friends and set off on the Easter egg hunt. Ooh, time to go find Easter eggs. We looked high. And they are looking high in a tree. Oh my goodness, look at them all falling out into her basket. We looked low. Oh, look, at, he's picking the bench up to get that egg. Clifford looked in places I would not have thought of. Where did he find them? Are they on top of the slide? He's pushing them down the slide. Emily Elizabeth, she's catching them in her basket. Kind of silly. No hiding place was missed. Now where is he finding them? Do you see him finding all these little eggs right up here? It's on a bridge. He's sitting in the river. He's finding the eggs on the bridge. He's very helpful, isn't he? Sometimes Clifford went a little too far. Is he reaching in somebody's house? <laughs> that might be a little too much, huh? Kind of silly. His hard work helped. We ended up with heaps of eggs. Look at all those eggs they have. But look at all the friends. Do they look really happy? They look kind of sad, don't they? Because they don't have very many eggs because Clifford and Elizabeth have so many. Emily Elizabeth has so many. What do you think they should do about that? What would be a nice thing to do for your friends when you have a lot more than they do? which we shared with our friends. After all, friends are what makes Easter a happy day. Look at there, not everybody's happy, right? Yes. But when you're Easter egg hunting and you're Easter egg hunting with other people, you should probably leave some for other people to find because it is a lot of fun to find Easter eggs. And if you find all of them, it is still nice to share, but you've kind of taken the joy of finding the eggs away. So. If you are doing an Easter egg hunt with siblings or anything like that this weekend, make sure that you share the finding of the eggs with your siblings, okay? Okay. Okay, so we are going to do just a simple, easy craft today, and it's going to be about Easter. So what we're going to do, we're going to make an Easter basket. It's pretty easy. So all you need is paper, a pencil, and then markers or crayons, colored pencils, whatever it is that you have around your house. So I will wait and give you a minute. If you wanna go ahead and do this and go find yourself a piece of paper, it can be colored paper if you want, that's fine. Regular white paper is fine too, whatever you wanna do. So paper, pencil, and then something to color with. So I'm using markers. You can use whatever you want. And I'm gonna do my best to try and show you how we do this. But I will give you a minute while you go get your stuff. Oh, Miss Jenny is really happy. The snow has stopped. The sun is trying to shine. It is going to be a wonderful day, isn't it? It's always going to be a wonderful day. But, all right, here's our paper. This is Miss Jenny's pencil, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval in the middle of the paper, okay? Miss Jenny's got to set it down. Okay, you're going to draw an oval kind of in the middle of your paper. I may, Miss Jenny made that kind of big, but that's okay. You know what I can do? I can flip it around the other way. I can use it either way. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the basket on the bottom and the handle on the top, just like this one. So this is the oval. Then we're gonna put the basket underneath and the handle on top, so it doesn't matter. You can have a short basket or a short handle if it's off-centered like this one. Miss Jenny is gonna make a bigger basket and a smaller handle, okay? So now you're gonna attach it. So you're gonna put your pencil here and you're gonna draw your basket from one end of your oval to the other. So Miss Jenny is gonna draw her basket. I'm gonna make it more of a square basket this time. So there's Miss Jenny's basket. Okay, now we're gonna draw a handle. So same thing, we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a handle up and over. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Whatever you want it to look like is just fine. All right, there's Miss Jenny's handle. Whoops, there's Miss Jenny's handle way up there. All right, so next you're gonna use markers however you want to. This time around, Miss Jenny's going to trace, so I traced it with black, but then my handle looked kind of black, didn't it? So I think I'm gonna trace with the color I want my basket to be. So let's see, Miss Jenny wants her basket to be, I'm gonna do yellow. Yellow is Miss Jenny's favorite color. So I'm gonna use my marker and I'm gonna trace where those pencil lines are with my yellow marker so then my basket is gonna be yellow. Okay, whoops, I got it upside down though. I gotta go the right way here. And you might still be able to see the pencil, but that's okay. If you wanna use a darker color, you can use a darker color. However you want to do it. Or if you want to start over and not use the pencil and just draw with the marker right off the bat, that is fine too. You can do it however you want. There is no wrong way to do it. That's the beautiful thing about any kind of art. You do it however you want and there is no right or wrong way to do it. All right. There's my traced basket. Now, you can do whatever you want with your basket. You can just color it in one solid color. You can put a design on it. I put a design on that one. For this one, I think I'm just gonna scribble some colors together and make it look kind of fun. Does that sound good? I'm gonna scribble some colors. And you can always do layers of it where you scribble on one color, well, let's do that, I like that better. I'm gonna color it all yellow, and then I can put designs on top of my yellow. Since my yellow is a really light color, I could easily do that and it will work just fine. So I'm gonna color and color and color and color, color that basket in as much as I wanna color it in. Scribble, 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 however you want it to look. What colors are you gonna use on your basket? Hmm? Or what color is your Easter basket? Have you gotten your Easter basket out yet? Getting it all set and ready for this weekend? There we go. My basket is now yellow. And then you can put designs on it however you want. You can do circles. You could do, what else could you put on your basket? Do you guys have any ideas for me? Riley Nemet, do you have any ideas for me? Um, put hearts on it. You could put hearts on your basket. Lines. You could do lines on your basket. There isn't anything wrong that you can do, is there? You can do it however you want to. Because it is your basket and there is no right or wrong way to do it, is there? All right, so Miss Jenny is doing this for now. All right, there's my basket. Okay, now we need to put some eggs in our basket. There's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have construction paper at home and you wanna cut eggs out and glue them on, you definitely can do that. If you wanna just draw them on, you can do that too. I'm gonna to draw them on. So I'm gonna draw a couple eggs. You're just gonna draw an oval. That's all an egg is, is just an oval. I'm gonna draw some ovals into my Easter basket. You can put as many that you want, or you can do less. You could draw some jelly beans. Jelly beans might be in your basket, huh? What else, what other candies might you have in a basket? 
do you think, Riley? What other candies could have it be in a basket? Reese's peanut butter cup. Reese's peanut butter cup. Those are Riley's favorite. Yummy, yummy. And then what about you? What other things could be in their basket? Um. Could we have little chocolate candy eggs in our basket? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so I have put my big eggs that I've colored, and then I have some jelly beans, and then I did some little chocolate candy eggs in there too, okay? So you put in whatever you want. You could put a bunny in there. You could put a chick in there. You could put whatever you want to put in your basket, and then you're just going to color them. And Miss Jenny isn't going to color all of them just to save time, but I will color one or two of them quick. Just to give you an idea. Color, 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 color. Okay, maybe I'll color a couple of the jelly beans. Huh? Should I color some of these jelly beans in? Do you guys like to eat jelly beans? If so, what is your favorite flavor of jelly bean? That is what I want to know. What is your favorite flavor of jelly beans? There's definitely lots of different kinds of jelly beans out there. What ones do you like the most? Or do you not like jelly beans? Miss Jenny is not a huge jelly bean fan. I just, meh, they're just not my thing, but that's okay. They can be your thing if you like them. All right, there we got an egg and a couple jelly beans colored. Okay, so you color all that stuff in, and then you can pick whatever color you want to use for your grass. Miss Jenny's going to use green, but you can use whatever color, and you're just going to squiggle line it all over the place. You're going to take your marker, or your crayon, or your colored pencil, and you're just going to put a bunch of squiggly lines in there. Squiggle, squiggles. Squiggle, squiggles. Just like your Easter grass would be in your basket. Just squiggly. Okay? And just squiggle line it all over the place. And then you've got your Easter basket. Now, if you want to add to it, you could put a background on it, right? You could put some kind of background back here. If you write, you could write Happy Easter on it. You can decorate it however you want. And then it is your choice. You can hang it up for you to see in your room. You could give it to somebody as an Easter present. You could leave it for the Easter Bunny. You can do whatever you want with your Easter basket. Or maybe, maybe some of our friends aren't going to be able to do an Easter basket this year because we're at home and maybe they can't go anywhere to get an Easter basket. So maybe you make yourself an Easter basket. And you can put in whatever you want. You use your imagination and you make your Easter basket however you want to make your Easter basket. And you can imagine all those fun things in your Easter basket. Okay? So, you have fun with this. Do it however you would like to do it, okay? That's the fun thing about art. There's no wrong way to do it. So that's going to be our craft for today. I'm going to give you one more reminder about our joy hunt. Remember to put things up for joy, whether it's in your own house to make you feel good, whether it's for other people to see. However you want to do it, get creative, come up with some new and fun ideas, and then take some pictures and send them to us. Or you can have your adults posted on their Facebook or Instagram and just hashtag Washburn CO Joy Hunt. Okay, and I can put that in the comments so you guys can see it. But that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter that you have enjoy some time outside and that you can do Easter egg hunts. Now, again, not everybody has eggs. Not everybody is going to be able to do an Easter egg hunt. But does it have to be eggs? Could you maybe collect some rocks and hide some rocks or find something else in your house that could get hidden outside or even in your house you can do an easter egg hunt in your house even okay so get creative just because you don't have the things you normally have doesn't mean you can't do it just get creative with how you're going to do it okay all right so i'm going to let you guys go you have a great great day friends and a wonderful easter and i will see you back here on tuesday okay See you. Bye, guys.